Well, shall we just say a little bit more about, about Seal Hain? Because last week you were saying that I repeated myself or I repeated things far too much. Um, specifically, Even JD thinks you repeat things far too much, so it's not oh. just me that thinks that. Okay, well perhaps we should. Well, because he pick, if you remember, he picked you up. He picked you up on it, doesn't he? Sometimes. Well, yeah, there's several points he has to make. On occasions. On occasions. He could cope with commercial radio, which we could. JD could, which we, no, I don't think we could. Well, that's 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 your opinion. You're well, I don't think I don't. Well, John, I don't think we want to. Well, I think you're being highly negative. Well, all right. Let me explain. Let me, if you allow, you made a number of points both now and last week. So let me try and respond to all of them in one coherent bundle before you interrupt me again. <laughs> okay. How does that sound? Okay, go on. Well, look, it seems to me that that um, if FM is is basically over and it's social media that uh, is going to take over, people aren't going to listen to scheduled to our programmes particularly uh, then what we're doing is quite quite reasonable if it's going to be edited later it's just sad for the listeners who are expecting it to be very coherent and tight at the time when it's broadcast mm. don't you think I mean, we're basically using the FM studio the it's got resources in it yeah I mean I personally I'm I like FM signals, but I prefer to be broadcasting over the internet if I had, if I had a choice. Um, personally, but go on, carry on. Well, how hard are you prepared to work? As a listener, do you expect it just to sort of stream on for two hours in a predictable manner, because that's the show you, you've you come to expect? Or do you retune, or do you put search terms into a... Are you talking to me? Or are yeah, you... I'm asking you as, well, a, as a listener. Well, or what your expectation is, because presumably we, there are people listening no, at the I, moment. I, so it... I would expect this is this is this is how I would expect the show to be run. I would expect a reasonable amount of talking. Mm. If if the presenters have got good points to make, mm. and a reasonable amount of ads, maybe and music, you know, I think. I think we should be playing a lot more jingle, jingles. Jingles. Um, uh, and and advertising Phonic FM, but that that is not that is not where you seem to. What you well, seem no, we to do. do. We do. Well, we play. We play. So we can play some Frank Zappa music. Okay. Later on, because on Tuesday the eleventh of April, Zappa Tika are going to be here for a Phonic benefit, and there's there's other ones as well. But we do. <sighs> We tend to play, um, we do play tracks from forthcoming Phonic Benefits. We'll look at some other ones. I'll find the Phonic website. There's about three benefits coming up, I think. And I played Zone Train. They, they don't have a Phonic Benefit coming up at the moment, but you never know. There might be another one. But just going back, John, last week I was just repeating this idea that FM is coming to an end, and you say, "Well, there's no point in saying that because it's obvious anyway." No, I no or, no. Or it's already I happened. I don't or... say it's obvious anyway. I don't say that at all. Uh, please don't right, take well, any well, notes. Well, well, please, well, do... listeners, don't take any notes, my okay. colleague. Okay. Um, what I is don't it you say, want to say? I don't say it's 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 obvious anyway. What I say is it's pretty it's pretty likely that. In, I'll give it another tw- 10 years time. I think things are gradually moving more online. And I think, whereas people used to, like... Well, I'll give you an example. When I was a child, I used to finish school at 2 o'clock in the afternoon every Friday. And I don't know if you remember it, um, but do you remember MVC? NBC. NBC. The 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 video the C D D V D shop. Oh, where the furniture place is on the sort of corner of yeah. Paris Street and Well yeah. I used to go in there every sun every Friday afternoon to buy a DVD or a C D. Yeah. And CDs were rife. And I think they still <laughs> are I think they still are now to a degree. But I do also think that um digital digital that digital downloads is where people seem to be um, getting most of the music now because if you if you think about it, most smartphones, including the Apple iPhone, have have um, 
have leads now that you can actually plug your phone into your car if you were a dri- if you were driving which unfortunately I'm not which I don't but if you were driving the, I know in the iPhone specifically because I have the iPhone 6 that that there is a feature called CarPlay so you would be able to plug your phone in you can get a lead a, an adaptable lead that you can plug into your car somehow I'm not a dri- I don't drive so no, I wouldn't no, know no. But, yeah, but anyway to cut a long story short like I have a lead plugged into my iPad now you can get the same for your car so what they what what they've gone and done like I'm on about I'm talking for all smartphones here on most smartphones there will be an option so you can plug your phone into your car and you can listen to your you can you can if you want you can you can treat your phone like a um like a like a CD player so so this is what I mean I mean and I, would you would you rather have that than radio I I don't know I mean I wouldn't I wouldn't say I'd rather have that than radio but what I'm saying is it's it's they've they've obviously they've obviously come to realise that that pe- that most people or the majority of people now smartphones are out and you know near enough i remember i remember like when my dad first got his first camera phone you know that was uh, that that's old now smartphones and technology is the way of the world today and social media is the way of the world so what i'm saying is even though cd's might be still um available I do believe that most people, or, or most of the majority of people, obviously they still want to listen to FM. I, I get that, yes, because people might be at work. I know, be, I know, we had some workmen in our house. Um, <laughs> la- uh, uh, not last week, but the week before, because I, I was having my accessible shower room um, built. So and they were listening to F. They were listening to the FM signal. Um, so there are people, obviously, that still do listen to FM. But what I'm saying is that majority of broadcast, in my view, is that you can that you can listen online nowadays. I mean, I mean, you know, you people, people. People, m- many more people, you know. Even I'll give you an example. Even, even um, my cousin's, my cousin's um, son, you know, he's he's only he's only like five, he's like five years old. Yeah. And he, he's still he's low already at five years old. How to use a blinking iPad? Oh yeah. So that's yeah. that's say, that's telling you something. <laughs> So no, I've heard, John, John, I've heard people younger yeah. than that. They go, yeah, yeah. They go, they go up but to a what, television and yeah, they stroke the television and the yeah. volume doesn't change and yeah. they get very upset. But what I mean is, I, I mean, I didn't know how to use a computer when I was five years old. So what I'm saying is, more and more... More and more people are, are, well, more and more children are learning how to use technology at a younger and younger age. So what I'm saying is... You know, pa- you know, parents shouldn't. You know, pa- it should be the parents' responsibility to listen to to actually watch what their kids are doing online, and not moan at things like Facebook. When actually, if people actually bother to look into Facebook, they will actually see that they're actually that Facebook actually has really really good security settings if you know how to use them. Um, I'm not going to get into that right now, but but what I'm saying is, if a five-year-old or even younger can use an iPad from a very very young age, you know, it's it's saying something. It's saying something because, like in my generation, when I was born in 1993, all this technology wasn't around. I didn't know how to use an iPad at uh, uh, that age. It wasn't around at that age. I, I didn't even know how to use a PlayStation at that age. You know, you know. So times are changing, and I think I think even at FM is still around now I think I think as it goes on I think it will it will gradually maybe fade or maybe or maybe not even if it doesn't fade out completely because because there are still the FM is still in my estimation it's still being used a hell of a hell of a lot and um, and so I don't think it's going to go anywhere anytime soon. But I do I do believe that CDs are gradually going out of um, tune. But that's just my opinion, Will. You might have a different opinion.
No, I think you're right. I think you're clearly right. Because in, in Extra at the moment, um, uh, there's, a, there's a sort of bin of CDs uh, in, in Rooster Records, uh, which is down sort of 4th Street, going down towards the Riverway. But that's mostly vinyl. But they've sort of re- stuck with vinyl all the way through, and it's really working out for them now. And then HMV is mostly DVDs on the ground floor, isn't it? The, 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 about half the space is, is CDs at the top, maybe a bit more. But um, no, I think it's it's on the way out. But we do have a couple of CD players in the studio. I, I think I think of them as a backup, really. If um, if all else fails, we'll play some of them. I might play some of them anyway. But John, the other thing I just want to mention now is is Radio One. Yeah. Because they did they were here with the Academy. Yeah, well, that, that, the day that I was off to the states. That, well, I was off to the states. I remember I, that I day very well. I know. Um, I know. So you missed it. You missed most of it. I missed most of it. Yeah. But what what we what I noticed was that they didn't seem very interested in in broadcast or at least as in television. I kept trying to find out where any of the the uh, acts would be broadcast on on television, and they they weren't. Nobody nobody was prepared to say anything about it. Uh, it did eventually turn up on BBC Four, which I suppose is for older people. It's sort of about Canals and uh, sports cars from the fifties and think all, all that kind of thing normally, but anyway, it's also a music vis- a vi- video. Uh, what's the word? Visual, visual music, uh, whatever the word is. Um, but visual radio is what Radio One seem to think of if they're doing social media, either on their own channels or on YouTube or somewhere else. They will make video. But they're not interested in television at all. So presumably they've got the same attitude to radio. And um, I, I mention this just in case you're listening in, in Yorkshire, because Phonic FM is also available on www.phonic.fm or bits and pieces turn up on YouTube as well. So if, any, if anybody's near Hull, um, please go along and have a, have a listen to what they have to say for themselves. Ask the question if any of the main event would be on television. Have you ever been to Hull, Will? I've been to Hull once, yeah. Do you like it up there, do you? Yeah, I do like it up there. Is it near Yorkshire or near London? Oh, it's near Yorkshire. OK. Yeah, no, you go to... Um, well, go to Leeds or Bradford or somewhere like that and then head for the coast. Right. And, uh Well, my, my guess is that, the, that when, you, when you listen to the Academy, the Radio 1 Academy, and try and work out what they're t- trying to tell you... Um, broadcast television or FM radio as we know it is not not really part of it but that's just a guess so we have moved on a bit John instead of asking this question will this ever happen one day we're going to say well perhaps it already has happened ok because uh, in training terms right we can cl- well maybe I don't know anyway anyway that's 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 our our tightly focused sound clip and somebody in Hull, over the next couple of months, might add something to it. So, Indeed, John, are we it? ready for some more music? We ought to go. I mean, we'll have lost all the audience by now, I should think, unless we yes, play a we few are, sounds. We are ready for some more music. Okay. Um, right now, I'm going to play some YouTube Beautiful Day. <laughs> 